Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I would do, you know, in honor of Coachella coming back this year, I'm going to rate some of my old Coachella slash festival outfits. I don't know if I have all of them on here, but I will put them on the screen and we can rate them together. So hopefully that sounds good. So I actually want to start with 2016 when Blake and I met. So this is, let's see, okay. So this is the outfit that I actually met Blake in. I believe it was a Windsor dress and I think I bought it and I put a bunch of belts and jewelry and I had like little face jewels. I don't have too many photos from this cause honestly I think I was pretty drunk when I went into festival and then I met Blake this night. So I actually still have almost all of my Coachella outfits. I will never get rid of them. They're just like so iconic to me. And anyway, so this was a good outfit. Um, the dress was okay. I kind of dressed it up a lot with jewelry and stuff like I do. And I think I had a bunch of turquoise jewelry. So I'll give that one like a 7 out of 10. Pretty basic like compared to my outfits that I did in later years. But I met Blake in it. So obviously it had some sort of magic in it. <laughs> um, okay, day two Coachella look. So this is a Moo Moo romper and the squash blossom was like a silversmith girl that I really liked. I can't remember her name. Um, oh, Free to Wander. I tagged a bunch of people. Yeah, this Free People romper, uh, or um, this Moo Moo romper, I still have it. A little sheer, you know, again, kind of a basic outfit, but I had never been to Coachella and I literally grabbed outfits the day before and tried to do my best because I had never been and just worked with whatever was in my closet or I was like could swing that day so I mean this one I'll give it like a 5 out of 10 it's not really special but I did some jewels on my boobs so <laughs> I love that oh I'm gonna have to find day 3 outfit I don't have it on my phone but it was a East and West label who are still my girls to this day and I have a collab out with them right now um, with some similar bra sets and skirts and stuff I'll leave a link for everything also I cannot link a majority of these outfits because they're like six years old so I'm sorry about that I will leave inspo for anything that I can find in the description um, but yeah and then I wore a saltwater luxe it was a, it's actually a dress and I opened it up and I wore some like vintage Levi's and I just wanted like a kimono that I could dance around in all day and just some boots I just wanted to be comfortable day three you're usually pretty wrecked so I just wore like a comfy outfit that and it was super hot so I also didn't want to die Okay, so that was, that one I'll give it like, eh, like a 4 out of 10. It was fine. Uh, well, I'm not too impressed with my first, my first, like, Coachella Evers outfits, but that's okay. I met Blake and I had a great time, so it's all that matters. Okay, so the next year, Blake and I went together. We actually got engaged. Um, it was like our one-year anniversary of meeting, so Blake proposed outside of Coachella um, when we were going to go on an anniversary lunch. That's a whole nother story, but anyways. Um, so let's see. That year... Ah, uh, okay. So my first day outfit, I believe was this one, a Cleabella dress and I wore some chokers. I think I had a couple, I think I had a shoe collab. And so I was um, working around the shoes. This outfit's okay, cute little dress, but eh, you know, we'll give it like a four out of 10. I also did multiple outfit changes this year, which I refuse to do now. Cause like taking all the stuff in and changing and I would always try to change my makeup. Um, okay, this outfit, again, I was doing a backpack collab. These are really cool, like, water, um, camelback type things. Um, the star shorts, I just recently got rid of. I was really sad, but they just don't fit me anymore, and I kept them for too long. Um, but this outfit's okay. I remember I, it was really hot that year. I remember that. Um, okay. Man, I did a lot of outfit changes. I think this was one of the outfit changes as well. This little orange dress and I can't remember where I got, I think it was vintage, this like beaded, really cool um, little like shoulder piece. Um, pretty cool, I actually really like that, I still have it. Um, yeah, I, I like my like photo, they had a really cool installation that year so I'll give it like a six out of 10, pretty good. Um, okay, this outfit, I think it was like Hello Molly or something like that. This little sparkle dress. Um, and I also have a photo of Blake and I because we, this is the day we got engaged. So I wanted to wear like my sparkly dress to just like really pull off my ring. Like I was 
so extra. Um, but this outfit I really, really like. Um, I don't think I have it anymore, actually. Um, but I would definitely give this one like a 9 out of 10. This dress was sick. I got so many compliments. I felt like a mermaid in it. That was a good one. And then, let me see. Um, oh, one more outfit. Um, I did it, two outfit changes the last day. So I did this black outfit. It was a Moomoo romper, I believe. And I wore like five belts with it and a ton of like Jay Nicole jewelry. I just wanted to like be comfy, but still have like a ton of accessories. Accessories for me are like the most important part of festivals, I feel like, cause I want a comfy outfit, but I just want like tons of jewelry. And I love jewelry, so pretty easy for me. And then this last outfit, I swear, put me on the map as far as like festival outfits. I, because after that black romper, I switched into, I think I still have the bra on from the, the other outfit. And I put this skirt on that I got from, I think it was Trendy and Tipsy, but I think it's like a Cotton Candy LA. Or I don't know. It's some random um, store. And it's like underwear with a skirt. And I put like a, bra over it and I had so I had this vintage crown that I can't remember I bought I buy majority of my outfits for festivals unless I am working with a brand but I really like to have some freedom with my outfits so this one I remember posing and I got so like it was like the minute I stood up with like the crown and like the mermaid skirt like people started coming from everywhere from like magazines and stuff trying to take photos and this was Blake's like first Coachella really with me and kind of working and he was like oh my gosh this is crazy because like just no one was wearing that crazy of stuff yet so um yeah this one 10 out of 10 this outfit I still have the skirt I still have the entire outfit actually um that crown like literally was making me bleed and it's super heavy it weighs like 10 pounds so I didn't wear it for very long but I wore it for photos until the sun went down this is like one of my favorite outfits ever um let's see so that was year two and then i think i only did we've only done three coachellas because in the last two years they were out so we did go to a, an australian festival with spell over new year's they have a festival called falls and so we go to that usually because we're visiting blake's family for christmas so we stay through new year's and go to that and you guys know i love spell so i try to find any reason to go visit them so this was the year right before COVID and I, let's see, I remember I wore, this was part of like their, um, Lisa had done a collab, an influencer, and then the duster is part of her collab. The boots are spelled, like literally the entire outfit is spell and I took a bunch of costume jewelry and I went in downtown Byron and got like this crystal crown. Byron's amazing um, if you're like a hippie and you just love like energies and stuff. And so I went to a bunch of their vintage stores there and got some cool accessories. Um, so this little crystal crown that I'll put is from a brand there. I still have all this. I love it. Um, this was a good outfit, but Blake and I got way too drunk way too fast and did not last <laughs> very long at the festival. Day two of the festival, uh, this outfit is still one of my favorites, the silk um, set. And then I did like a bunch of body chains under and then belts over and I had these silver boots and I just, this is like probably one of my favorite. I didn't rate my last one. I get it on like an eight out of 10. This one's like 10 out of 10, love this outfit. So comfy for a festival. I had like a little kimono over, very nice. And I love this color on me and it's silky. So it was really nice and breathable. We didn't go to day three of that festival um let's see man so many photos to get through okay so now we're at the last coachella we went to um in 2019 um so this one i did and i went to two weekends of this we went with a brand for the second weekend Ooh, going two weekends in a row is rough i don't recommend it but my feet were killing me so let's see the first day I wore a spell dress and I did a takeover on their page. I remember like everything about this stuff. This dress was really comfy. I actually have two of them because the first one I ripped and it's so like good. I just wanted a second one. So I put, I really like, again, like to over put bras over things. And so I put like this chain mail bra from, I'll, I'll tag the brand Grace Bijou. Um, so I put that over and I put, so then they had like a matching choker and I actually put it on my head so that it would drape down on my forehead. Kind of annoying. Um, I tried to glue it, but it didn't work out, but I was tired of putting glue all over my face. Bless you. 
And so I did this little thing, super cool. I mean, being in a flowy dress was like perfect because you can dance, but you're still like not in pants or anything. This outfit was like a nine out of 10. I really liked this outfit. Um, uh, my day two outfit, if you know, you know. Another one that I think put me on the map. Um, so I had a, bless you, I had a collab with Pure Vita Bracelets um, that year. And so we were staying with them. Um, and so we, they decided to fly us into Coachella on a helicopter. So I decided to take that as my day to wear the wings. I had two epic outfits for that weekend. And so I like to save my really epic one for day three. So if you're watching for Coachella this year, day three is usually like my all out outfit. Um, so this is an East and West label um, bra and underwear. I actually had planned to wear a black one and then they overnighted a white one to me because I was like, ah, oh, just, it needs to all be different because I'm crazy. And so um, the silver boots are Kate Spade, like so old, like the bottoms of them are literally like destroyed. Um, the wings I got on Amazon and the hat I had custom made, which now she sells them, Electric Peacock on Etsy. Again, I, she has them still, so I will link it. I have like every color now. The hat was super comfy. Um, I mean, this outfit was everything. I was like, I had so much fun in this outfit. I actually almost, getting into Coachella, they were like, oh, no capes, no wings. And I didn't know that. So they were like, you have to take it off. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be like naked. Like it's like my shirt, you know? And they were like, nope, take it off. Like, no, no, no. And it had sticks in the wings that I could hold on to. And I was like, you don't understand. Like, I don't want to be just running around in my underwear. And I mean, I do, but you know, and so then like a lady was really cool and she was like, take it all off. Cause it would fold down to like this big. And I put it in my backpack and she let me in and then I put it right back on cause it's like a choker. And I think people thought it was part of the Coachella, like, like a performer or something. Cause I would like stand there and the people would stood in a line to take photos with me. Not because of like being me, but they thought I was like part of like a Coachella installation or something. So eventually I had to be like, do you know who I am? Like, do you know my name? And then they were like, no. And I was like, okay, I think they're just forming a line to take like a cool photo or something. And I was like so hot and whatever so this outfit was epic sunset i mean i had so many like people coming by and just being like oh my god yes like one of the coolest outfits i've ever worn just in life i felt like a victoria's secret angel like i just like walked around and just i was just i was living in that outfit it was so good i could not say enough like 20 out of 10 for that outfit um let's see oh that same weekend i did wear another outfit i wore a matching romper and kimono and I put, so I had the, this like underwear thing that you could hook chains to. So I had the chains coming out of my legs and then I wore two belts and like all my squash blossoms that I love. This outfit was really good. The only annoying thing about wearing a bunch of belts and then a romper and then a kimono is you have to take literally all of it off to go pee. So I think I didn't drink like any water that day because it's like, I didn't want to have to be running to a porta potty and putting all my stuff somewhere. Um, this was a really good outfit. Um, I might give it like an 8 out of 10. And okay, this last outfit, this is like another one of my really epic, took me like months to track down everything because I had this vision in my head and I think I sketched it out. This is how much I think about these outfits. They're like, I think about them all year. So the skirt is a bridal skirt that most women can like put over like a, like a tight dress and then they take it off for their ceremony. So I had messaged the person, I think it was on Etsy, and I was like, is there any way you can make it with a tie instead of like a button? Because I wanted to be able to like tie it however tight I wanted. And then, um, so they said yes, They I rushed, I think they're in the UK. Um, I wore like a gooseberry Intimates, just like a lingerie onesie. And then again, a bunch of belts. And then um, the butterfly crown is a girl that I've known for years who does like rainbow ones and a bunch of other colors And I was like, can I get a white one with extra ones that I can put like down my hair? Um, instead of just the crown like I wanted them like floating in my hair and so Worked with her on that and I just I tried to get a lot of like artists in on it um, and so This outfit was like amazing. And I put a, I ended up putting a belt over the tie because I didn't want the ties like hanging in my crotch so I like tied them in the back and then put a belt over to kind of cover it. And then these boots were terrible. They were Doc Martens, but they're like really high platforms and they're glittery. And they have like ribbons for 
laces and so these actually made my feet bleed within like five minutes of wearing them so i sat a lot of this day which was really sad i wish i would have worn different boots but the glitter kind of went with my vibe uh, so we ended up leaving early the third day because i was in i was like like blood in my shoes they still have blood in them and i was putting band-aids and all this stuff and not only did it cut my like leg and my heel like both and it was just bloody and it was horrible um but worth it <laughs> Um, and then the second weekend, kind of like, I had to, I was like doing some stuff with a brand, so I couldn't really like have a lot of creative freedom, but they did give me some. So I have a couple of cute outfits. I have this like white, um, lace skirt and a little like glittery top and they did like a really cool hairdo on me. And then I did this white dress with some snakeskin boots and kind of accessorized it up a little bit. I really like wearing white at Coachella, I'm realizing. Um, yeah, and just my brother and his girlfriend came the second weekend, so we hung out with them a lot, and oh my gosh, wait, and I didn't show you guys, here's a photo of me and Blake the last day of weekend three when we met, of the first weekend when we met, and such little babies. We just, I'll put like a little like thing of all of our photos, or maybe I'll make it the cover photo, but yeah, I just... I just love Coachella. I feel like it's the only time I can really dress how I feel and like just go crazy. I can act crazy. I can dance around like everyone's just kind of in their own little world and no one's like looking around so much. So it's just one of those weekends that I really let loose and just kind of the more I can wear, the more crap I can put all over my body, I will. And I wish I could dress like that every day, but it also takes a lot of effort. Um, so I cannot tell you guys what I'm wearing this year, but I have a couple outfits ready already so good i've been saving stuff since like two years ago so pretty excited to wear them um i'll link as much as i possibly can in this video if i can find everything but i mean a lot of stuff was vintage or custom made or old and i just can't find it but i hope you guys enjoy um coachella's in a couple weeks so i'm pretty excited um we're going to weekend one and yeah i hope you enjoy like and subscribe and comment if you want me to do any other type of videos like this